Hello there and welcome back to another breakfast video. Today's recipes can be described as super tasty, easy to recreate, and at the same time even a little more fancy than usual. A bit more ornate, gaudy, chi-chi if you will. <laughs> Not to mention they're all kindly being sponsored by Squarespace. This first one is essentially healthy dessert in muesli form. To my breakfast bowl, I added small cut oats, flax seeds, a handful of raisins, some of this dark chocolate granola for some crunch. I have a recipe for chocolate coconut granola somewhere on my channel. I link to it down below. Um, or use any other crunchy cereal or granola you happen to have on hand. I also added one chopped banana. A handful of crushed walnuts and two of these frozen chocolate covered peanut butter bites. The recipe for these is pretty much in the name. I basically froze some peanut butter and dipped that into melted chocolate. The more detailed how to um, can be found in my previous video. I will also link that down below. Does this qualify as chunky monkey flavored? Oh, I'm tired, but I know I can Moving on to some vegan mozzarella tomato toasts. Loosely inspired by this comment. First off, add a bit of olive oil to a tiny bowl. Add one clove of garlic, either grated carefully, I got too scared and only did half. Um, better to press the garlic or chop it finely. Add it to the olive oil and let that sit for a couple minutes while you preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and cut a bun of your choice in half. Brush the bread with the garlic olive oil and then place it into the oven until nice and golden brown. Takes 8 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, cut a tomato into slices and grab a pack of silken tofu. That is going to be our mozzarella. Add both to the now crispy bread alternating between the two. Use a spoon to scoop out the tofu to get a round shape. Add some basil, then sprinkle with salt and also squeeze some lemon juice on top. And if you like some balsamic vinegar or balsamic glaze. This is so yummy. Of course, silken tofu doesn't taste like mozzarella cheese, but I think all the stuff surrounding the tofu, the, the olive oil, garlic, tomato, you know, it sort of tricks your brain into thinking you're eating actual caprese toast. It's really good. I'd say a fancy vegan breakfast needs to be paired with a fancy drink. So here's me making some virgin mimosas. It's orange juice followed by ginger ale and a couple of frozen raspberries. Would highly recommend. If you can't find it, you could also swap out the ginger ale for sparkling water, of course. Recipe number four is for baked cherry and Nutella pancakes. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and line a baking pan or casserole dish with wet parchment paper. This might sound redundant, but make sure to also brush your baking paper once it's in the pan with some extra oil, otherwise it's gonna be a bit hard to remove it from the baked cake later. Make sure you have all the ingredients. I didn't, so here's me leaving to get soy milk and baking powder and applesauce. Anyway, in a large mixing bowl, combine all your dry ingredients, flour, baking powder, salt, and raw sugar. Then mix the wet ingredients separately. Non-dairy milk, apple cider vinegar, applesauce, and vanilla. Pour the wet into the dry, mix it all up. Pour the batter into your prepared dish, and then add your toppings or add-ins. I went for frozen cherries and little dollops of vegan Nutella. If you can't find vegan chocolate spread anywhere, use any other nut butter or make this quick almond chocolate spread. Um, recipe link will be in the description. Bake until golden brown and fluffy. Obviously the time of baking can differ depending on the size of your pan. I'd say bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. Leave it to cool for at least 15 minutes. I just love the combo of cherries and chocolate so much. Let me know in the comments what would you have put in these. <laughs> On to 
on to this last recipe. I don't know exactly what to call this one yet. So far I have loaded sweet potato circles with savory peanut butter cream. I'm still brainstorming. Grab a medium sized sweet potato and wash it and then cut it into circles that are about two centimeters in thickness. Put these in a pot with water and let them boil for about 10 minutes or until tender. In the meantime, combine the ingredients for the peanut butter sauce. Natural peanut butter, sriracha or any other hot sauce you like, lemon juice or wet wine vinegar, salt, and non-dairy milk. If you think it's too thick, then add some more milk. Also, cut up some extra veggies you might want to add on top. Then assemble. Add the peanut mix first. Then some avocado perhaps. Some cucumber, some sesame seeds, some more sriracha maybe. But yeah, this one's so good, super filling, healthy. Love this one. If you're recreating any of these recipes, as always, let me know how it goes. If you were to share a photo of your recreated breakfast on Instagram and tag me, I wouldn't be mad. Also, if you're in need of a website and you happen to choose Squarespace and use my code MeNowRome for 10% off your first purchase, I wouldn't be mad about that either. Squarespace is the number one one-stop shop website building platform out there. They provide you with the most aesthetically pleasing and professionally designed website templates. Use any of those to market your new podcast, for example, your online store or art portfolio. You can also use them to create insanely professional looking CV websites. Who has a CV website? That is so cool. Squarespace can also help you to level up your email marketing. They have templates for that now as well. And if you need any help, ask their award-winning 24-hour customer service. So yeah, get creative. Visit squarespace.com slash me now Rome. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah, and I don't want it any other way than this, yeah. It's just me and Shawty chilling at the crib, ayy. I'm getting bored, so we might go Netflix and chill.